Um, hey everyone, welcome back to Self to Self. My name is Heem, that's Nick. And today we're doing part two out of the part three series of the gene therapy quiz. And this time it's the intermediate uh, level. Yeah. Last time we did basic, so Nick's Yeah, this going is to how share it'd be interesting. his screen. Yeah. Um, this is going to be tough because the last one, what we got nine out of 10 or eight out of 10. We got nine out of 10. We just didn't get a history one. Like Yeah. one was a So, first. Yeah. okay. All right. Well, let's just get started. Yeah. Remember, if you're watching, we thank you guys. We appreciate you guys. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Comment down below, ask us questions. Um, we're always interested. And thank you to the new subscribers. We know last week um, we got some good ones with a really good interview. If you haven't caught it, um, go check it out with Victor. It was it was pretty great. So, all right, Heem, you ready? Yeah. Could you scroll down All right. a little bit? Yeah. Okay, that's perfect. All right. So what is gene therapy, Heem? Is it A, a preclinical test for inherited disease in newborns? Is it B, treatment of diseases caused by genetic defect? Is it C, genetic engineering using recombinant DNA technology? Or D, cancer treatment using in vitro cultured stem cells? Let's see. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty clear. <laughs> B was a trick one. Wow. It's a treatment that consists Wait. of introducing. So it was B. Well, B, technically, there's other treatments that, like, also treat genetic conditions. That are, like, go back. Yeah. Go back to that first question. Did it say cure? Did it say treat? Because... Can I get back? That makes no sense. Treatment Yeah, it says treatment of diseases. of disease caused by... People take a lot of treatments for genetic diseases. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll be honest. We'll be honest. We'll be honest. Yeah, whatever. All right. Germline, germline gene therapy can potentially correct a genetic defect in a affected individual, affected individual in his or her offspring only, affected individual in all of his or her descendants, parent of an affected child. It's not B. I guess it It's yeah, not A. C or C or B. This was one of our other questions too, and I think from your logic that you explained that day, you said it would be all the offspring too. Mm -hmm. So like C. But if it's B. Descendants is different. Why? Because it's the offsprings, 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 offspring, and it's germline, yeah like you said, and then but what if it gets like crossed out all right you want to go see Yeah, I guess technically, yeah, it could get crossed out. But then technically, can it cross out for her and his or her offspring too? Like, No, I don't think so. All right, let's just let's just stick with C. Are we gonna go O for two or one yeah. for two? Got it. <laughs> oh, okay, now we know. So it's like, it's pretty like legit. The past and the future generations, the approach theoretically should be highly effective in counteracting genetic disorders. Okay, perfect. All right, next question. Three, a mechanism of gene therapy involving the alteration of myoblasts could be used to treat Parkinson's. Uh, muscular dystrophy, prostate cancer, or Ty Sachs disease? I think it's D. Myoblasts are Neurodegenerative, myodegenerative. Cancer is cancer. Like you can get cancer through a bunch of different ways. Ty Sachs what is is like, what is a what is a myoblast? uh, that's like, um, that's like the, like the fetus. Like the early fetus, I think. Oh. I think it's Ty Sachs disease. Maybe I'd say muscular dystrophy. I don't know. But let's do Tay Sachs. If you think you're more confident about Tay Sachs, It is muscular dystrophy. that's Wait, going to what? differ. Because Oh, myoblast. if it happens. I'm a... I am not going to curse. Hold on. Precursor cell of skeletal muscle. Yeah, I'm silly. I apologize to everyone watching. That was stupid. All right, next question. We're going to forget that happened. How many gene therapy clinical trials have been performed or are ongoing worldwide? 
greater more than, than ten thousand. I think I feel Maybe like when was this written? The whole world? It's gotta be. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Yeah. In two thousand seven. This is from two thousand and seven. Two thousand and seven. Wow. All right. I'm sure now it's over ten thousand. All right. We're struggling. We're struggling. All right. Which of the following is a preferred vector for transferring genes to nerve cells? Okay, it's not AV AAV vectors. So what basically which one of these can get into the, which one of these viruses can get into the nervous system? Oh geez. I don't think it's herpes. Why would why not adeno associated? Like normal. Like yeah, I guess. I don't even know what the last one is. Yeah, vaccine. Yeah, I have no idea. Preferred vector. For... Why don't we just go with what we think? Adeno associate. We're botching this kind of anyway. Yeah. Because herpes. I no. Oh my gosh. All right. I guess the one that we think is wrong, we need to go with. This is a mess. All right. Okay. That herpes makes sense, is... though. So we just didn't know the nature of herpes, which kind of gave huh. it away. Yeah. Okay. Jeez. All right. A nasal spray containing a adenovirus carrying a functional human CFTR, so a cystic fibrosis gene, is used to treat cystic, uh, cystic fibrosis in an example of which type of gene therapy? In situ? Yeah, that's like in the body, right? I think. Because in vivo means like inside the cells, ex vivo means outside, and that's usually referring to things in the lab. And it's not a vaccine. I like it. Oh, what? Geez, that's a body. So when you do in vivo things in the lab, I guess that it's... question didn't make sense. Why? Because I thought they were asking like, where does the gene like get used? Like, not where it's made. Because this is saying... in situ means situated in the original, natural, or existing places or positions. So in situ is, I guess, kind of used in, like, wait. In situ therapy he delivers a gene directly to an accessible body wait. part, whereas in vivo gene therapy delivers the vector into the body. Wait, read the first part, though. Oh, wait, no, no, that's ex vivo. Ex vivo involves genetic cells being extracted from the body, modified in the laboratory. But with the nasal spray, oh. aren't you technically directly delivering the gene to the lungs through the nasal cavity? Exactly. That makes Whereas sense. the in vivo gene therapy delivers the vector into the body. But that's what in situ is doing. Ooh, I'm getting mad at this quiz. Let's get to the next question before. Okay. Which of the following genetic the therapies following has been used to treat familial hypercholesterolemia? Cholest hypercholesterolemia. I don't think it's D, but now that I said that, it's probably D. No, I think you're right. It's not D. I don't think it's C either. I feel like B because LDL is like has to do with fat and stuff and cholesterol. Mm -hmm. Low density lipoproteins. When you have a lot of those, you have high cholesterol, I guess, because high density yeah. lipoproteins are the beneficial, like healthy ones for you. Yeah. So I think LDL. 
Maybe. Yes. We Let's got go. one. We got one. Oh my goodness. Which gene transfer technique involves the use of a fatty bubble to carry a gene into a somatic cell? Liposome transfer. Yeah. I think that's obvious. Not oh, obvious, but like you learned about that. Yeah. Okay. Market registration of a gene therapy product in Europe requires approval by which of the following organizations? It's going to be EMA because FDA is NIH, both United States, World Health Organization, the World Health Organization. But what yeah, would EMA to... stand for? European Medical Association? Maybe. Nice. Medicines Agency. Yeah. Last question. Last question. Sorry, I skipped through that pretty fast. Okay. What is the main objective of a phase one clinical gene therapy trial? Assessment of the safety of the gene therapy product, evaluate the optimal doses of the gene therapy product, provide scientific proof of successful treatment, or provide preclinical safety data for the clinical study. Aren't A and D the same thing? No, because it's not preclinical. Clinical studies is phase one. Yeah. Isn't so it'd be A. So is that D? Hold on. Yeah, is B dosing or is phase two dosing and then phase three scale? Probably. Okay. Because you're not look A is nothing to do with efficacy. An optimal dosing is looking at the best efficacy of your dose, I think. Okay. All right. I think nice. All right, we brought it back at the end. I think we got four in a row at the end. We got a fifty percent. Five out of ten. There's room for improvement, Heem. There's room for improvement. There is. There is. So, all right, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. All right. That was a good one. One. Another quiz in the books. We need to be challenged a little bit. We can't get nine and tens out of tens on every quiz. And hopefully so. next time we can have a new few new RGME members interviewed, get to know them, mm -hmm. star them on our channel since we are RGME people. Mm -hmm. absolutely get to know more yeah. people all right well got anything else that's all for me all right well we want to say thank you guys for watching another episode of cells to sell um hopefully you enjoyed remember like subscribe thank you for watching and if you made it this far we really really appreciate you and uh yeah this has been another episode of cells to sell i'm nick that team we'll see you guys next time